She sat across, leant across and asked what it looked like. The avert politeness, every second I'd not trembled nor stumbled, smiled with eye contact, mimicked her posture, I'm just like you look. I don't stay up past 12, eat three times a day, run occasionally. And obviously that means, that means my brain is cushioned with structure. The promise of continuation. I look forward, think forward, walk forward. But that thing doesn't know forward, only forwardness. It's a base. Call it structureless. But it's still crouching. I wish it shouted, but instead it hums. Horizontal melodies. What's left to confess? Why don't you speak? It wraps around the chair five times and touches the floor, slightly trailing out the door. Draped at first, but now far more tense tiny hand squeezing till I become sand I slump against clump against more the chair softer than before it tells me I'm not what I am and what I am never was until I don't believe that am is a constant or see how anything could seem to possess sense it wants to scream, but instead frustration like sticky fluid leaks from the gaps in its knitted face. A mess and I'm surrounded by stick. Breath has got tacky and I feel my spit. She reconciles, but shadows grow and I remember. The train is currently stuck at a red signal. We'll be on the move again as soon as possible. And knowing but not knowing, that shade resounds for a moment at least, I can't compete. I quietly but not impressively breathe. And it scowls so knowingly. I remember that I'm a project of incomplete, non-retractable works, as it projects the faults. Grumbling, stumbled once, then crouching. I want to leave. But I think the room is still stuck at a red signal. That was definitely a sympathetic nod. But half the room is warping, eyes deadpan, drip into the deepest holes I want to fall into, spill into. The gentle shift in the air towards. I have crunched my hands, my nails are in my palms, and a small stain makes me look like a child. Two thin strings rise towards the ceiling, trace the outer side of the wall, clinging to the corner, pieces hang. It, I say, I don't want to think about. It recognises its name. As I watch the hanging threads tense into curls and release with each exhale, it rarely looks the same. But I feel it feeling me, addressing me, barking, collating, healing me. No, actually not that. I'm starting to think my fingers are a lot like stringy freefall, mimicking the wave, thighs tight and loose and tense, un... My skin starts to have gaps and focal points, deepened crooks. She stares right through one and I think we're green, leaning my hand away from me so I can't see the similarity. Regain a professional adult tone. Thank her for efficiently corrupting the distance I'd been maintaining... I stand up and I'm touching each string, strand, cold, drooping. I tilt my head and the weight of the room deepens, walk past its chair, trying to prove I see nothing there. The air in the room, angular and leaning. Strands flailing, now plucking, I can feel my skin covering in condensation from all the smothering as its finger unhooks i feel it taste and i wonder if it's more like sweat or fear or haste there's an inaudible pop and i berate my belief and trust as i walk away <laughs>